Stevie Munn has many years of game angling experience in Ireland and many parts of the world. He has gained a wealth of expertise over a lifetime of fishing and offers his unique instruction on fly tying and fishing a variety of rivers, still waters and locks. As a beginner or a more experienced angler, you may wish to take the opportunity to enjoy learning the necessary fly tying and fishing skills and correct casting techniques from a qualified coach, avoiding the many common casting faults and frustrations experienced by so many fly fishers. Our aim is that you enjoy your time spent with us and use it as a platform to enhance your enjoyment of this wonderful sport. Irish flies have a characteristic appearance both in colour and outline shape. Many patterns use blends of dubbing. They use the colour of the countryside, particularly autumn, with its rich mix of fiery browns, yellows, olives and reds. These flies somehow come to life as they are drawn through the water. At the shoulder, hackles should be long and flowing, including blue jay hackles. All these colours and materials, combined with shaggy bodies and soft, lively hackles, combine to give Irish flies a semblance of life, which makes them so successful. Stevie Munn is going to tie some of his personal favourites. The flies can be used on Irish locks, Scottish locks, lakes and still waters anywhere around the world. And they will catch fish. The first fly I'm going to tie here is uh, called the Bloody Mary. Um, it's a very, very good middle dropper fly for, for the Irish locks. It also works on rivers as well, but it's predominantly an, an Irish lock fly. Um, the way we would start this fly would be just bring the thread down. Nice touch and turns. I hold the thread up like this so the thread slips down onto the shank of the hook and it gives me nice touch and turns the whole way up the body. I, li I, like, it. I like touch and turns. Some people don't, but I like touch and turns just because it gives the fly a good foundation. Just cut away that. And the, the tail on this fly is blood red, and so it's just a pinch of feather fibres. What I'm doing there is a pinch and loop, turn it on the top with a pinch and loop. And then I'll just cut off some of this excess. And then wind it on up the body. Coming back down because I'm going to tie my rib in here at the bottom. I'm using a bit of silver wire for the rib. And I'm just tying it underneath the fly and coming over that. I'm going to use a small piece of orange seals fur. Um, I'm just going to use a wee bit of tires wax here. Just helps the and I'm taking a very small pinch. A lot of people when they're tying flies use too much dubbing on flies. So you only need a, a, a little, a little bit and just spin that on. And just spin the one way, always spin the one way with, when you're dubbing. Um, and then just bring it out up onto the body. And this is making the back end of the fly. This fly is sort of half seals fur and half peacock hurl. I'm just taking a couple of fibres of peacock. Peacock's a great, a great ingredient to put in a, in a trout fly. I'm just tying them in halfway up the body. And then I'm winding my peacock hurl. Turn it off there. Um, I'm leaving a bit of a room for my haggle. Lots of people tie up too close to the eye when they're their first hand flies, but also, always make sure you leave a, a slight bit of room for your haggle. Then I'm bringing my rib out and just coming up nice even turns, coming up the body of the fly. 
about five turns up. Don't do too many. That also helps. The reason why I'm using wire it also helps if the if you if you do catch a fish, wire is a bit more durable. So the twitch teeth don't pull your fly apart. I'm going to use a, a dark claret haggle. I'm just taking off the the soft material, the flue at the bottom of the stock. I'm cutting that. So it's a it's quite a webby haggle for this. Bring my stock up. Cut that off. And bring bring my haggle pliers up and put it on the, the tip of the haggle, but on the stock. Bring my thread behind the haggle and winding. And you only need about three turns for this fly. Letting that hang and coming underneath to tie off my haggle. Pulling back any fibres, it's just showing at the front and finishing my head. I like to put in a half hitch, just round the finger once. You can use a tool for whip finishing, which is, this is a whip finish tool. And, or you can use your fingers to whip finish. I can show you both, but this, this is a whip finish with your fingers. And all you're doing is spinning your fingers inside that loop and crossing over on the threads. And tan off. Basically, that's it. Then you would varnish the head. And that's the Bloody Mary. Very good middle dropper fly for the lakes. Fish take it for olives and sedges at times. And it's just a very good attractor fly.